Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. Hey, well, Gary, how are, you, how are you and the boys feeling about the game away to Kilmarnock on, on Saturday? Yeah, we know it'll be a difficult game. They obviously got a point away at party last week, ended the kind of run of defeats that they were on. So, well, I think obviously when you're playing on the AstroTurf, it kind of changes the game a wee bit, makes that a wee bit more difficult. But I think the form that we've been in, I think we've got to go into the game full of confidence. In the last, that's uh, four wins in the last five games, six games undefeated. What's, what's that been down to? There's no secret really, I think. Obviously, the first and foremost, our teams have been built on hard work, you know, being difficult to beat. And I think we've maybe got back to that, being you know, a bit more ugly than the ugly side of things, maybe better being harder to beat, getting people's faces and I think when you give yourself, you know, when you do that, you give yourself that platform to go and score goals and I think we've got boys on form at the minute that are putting the ball in the back of the net when you put it all together, you know, it gets your results. Are you pleased to have been with uh, Michael O'Halloran? He's uh, that's five goals in his last five games. He is, uh, he's on fire, you know, he's taking a bit of stick for it but, you know, long may it continue, you know, Mikey is on fire and when you're in that kind of rich vein of form, which he is at the minute, you just want to get the ball to him because things are happening for him. And uh, in the league, possibly we could break into the top six this weekend with a win over Kilmarnock and Dundee maybe slipping up at Hamilton. That's right, yeah. I mean, things changed so quickly in, in football. You know, a few weeks ago it was looking great for us. You know, we, we really needed results and the boys have managed to do that and we put ourselves, as you say, in a great position. And it's, and it's a good incentive for us on Saturday to go and get the three points. And uh, looking outside with, with the snow coming down before the training session this morning, are you somebody that think maybe summer football, is that something that you think could, could be a possibility? I love it, absolutely. But I remember years ago they used to have the we used to get two weeks off kind of January time, they used to do the winter break, so we used to go away abroad for a week or whatever with the football team. So that was great, but I, I would definitely be all for it when you look at days like today, Ross I definitely. What, what kind of stands in people's way of uh, kind of adjusting to the summer football from what we have just now? What you mean financially? Things obviously it's going to be t dictated by TV and things like that, isn't it? Really, there's things out with that kind of things that would affect it. I think if you ask boys, at most footballers obviously want to be playing in the good weather and things like that rather than days like today. But you know, that's what it is. So we get on with it. Fans as well would it be more, more appealing to fans to come out in the, the sunshine instead of, of the winter. Course, aye, absolutely. I mean, you get so like some of the weeks we've had like Saturday there at St Mary, and it's not a great day. It's uh, asking people to come and watch football and, and days like that is asking a lot, and I'm sure they'd rather come with their shorts and t-shirt with their kids rather than come in days like that. Speaking to, to the manager about the season so far, we're getting into December now, so kind of looking back to the Luzerne games, to, to where we are just now, what's your kind of analysis of the season so far? It's been a bit up and down, if we're being honest, for our season so far. We, we've had a week in a bad spell there, but we, we did drop a bit in the league. Um, but the league being the way that it is, you get a couple of victories, you very quickly go up in our league, that everybody knows that, so we've managed to do that the, the last couple of weeks and you very quickly climb the table, so long may that continue. Just finally, what have you made of some of the, the Christmas jumpers being worn by the by the boys this morning? There's a few in our dressing room, obviously, this morning, but there's some uh, keeping them for Saturday night, so we'll see you no more. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers.